So in the United States, uh, and in fact, in our U.S. Constitution, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Coinage Act back in uh, 1784, uh, I think it was, and he basically defined how much gold would be in a $10 gold piece and how much gold, silver would be in a $1 uh, you know, silver dollar. So uh, coins, you know, dimes, quarters, halves, and silver dollars before 1965 were all 90% silver. So here's, you know, an example of a walking Liberty half dollar. Here's a Benjamin Franklin half dollar. So these were 90% silver and 10% copper. Here's examples of silver dollars. So let's see, I'm trying to get that focus. So this is a Morgan silver dollar made in the uh, 1870s through 1921. This is a peace dollar made from 1921 to 1935. So those are silver dollars. So those were all 90% uh, silver. Now, something interesting about half dollars. So half dollars in 1964, you know, so Kennedy was assassinated in 63. So we uh, put his head on the half dollar in 1964. And in 1964, this was the last year that coinage was 90% silver. But something different about the half dollar from 1965 through 70, the half dollars were actually 40% silver. And that's only for half dollars. So dimes and quarters, all the silver was taken out of the coinage, you know, 65 and beyond. But the half dollar 65 through 70 were actually 40%. Uh, now, gold coins, this is even uh, more cool. So gold coins, we had uh, from the signing of the Constitution up until 1933, and FDR outlawed gold coins, believe it or not. And uh, in my other presentation, I teach a lot about that. But in 1933 was the last year for gold coins. So this is a uh, what's known as a St. Gaudens. And this was made in the 20s and up until 33. This is a $20 gold piece. So the $20 gold piece has right around one ounce of gold in it. Now here's a $5 gold coin from the early 1900s. I apologize about you know, the blur. There we go, that looks pretty good. So this has about a quarter ounce of gold in it. Then we had the uh, two and a half dollar gold piece. Let's see here, come on, Mr. Focus. I'm trying to focus that. Well, unfortunately we can't focus too well, but you'll notice that this, which is 0.125 of an ounce is almost the same size as a dime. Now we even had a $1 gold coin, which was you know, much smaller than a dime. So you figure all of those would fall out of your pocket, but uh, gold coins were 90% gold and 10% uh, uh, copper. And then 